one of the useful things that programming languages like Python can do is to do calculations and other sorts of operations on the literal or variables that we have in our code. So in this section, we're gonna look at several of the different kinds of operations that you can do with Python. So first of all, there are four common math operations that we can do. And uh, these are the ones you learned in elementary school. Addition, which is a plus sign. Subtraction, which is a minus sign, not an underscore. Multiplication, which is a star. And division, which is a forward-facing slash, not a backslash. Backslash is a different thing. It has a different use in Python. So here's a cell. Let's dissect this and figure out what it does. So in the first statement, we are taking the number one and assigning it to the variable number widgets. In the second statement, we take the value of number of widgets and add three to it and take that uh, answer of that operation and put it in a variable called answer and then print the answer on the screen. So if we run that, we can see that the answer is four. One with three added to it is four. And I can change my code to something else, like six. This time when I run it, now it says the answer is nine. So this is not a particularly useful script, but it uh, illustrates how you can add things together and then assign them to another variable. Now here's a tricky thing. Let's try running these two scripts here. So this is sort of like the last script. I've um, assigned 325 to the first number, 145 to the second number. Then I take the first number plus the second number, print the answer, and then print what type of thing it is. So let's run that. Okay, so it says the first number plus the second number is 470. And the class of the answer is integer. Now, if I run this script, we'll see that we, uh, oops, let's see, let's run it again. Okay, now we get like a completely different result. We do not get 470, we get 325145. That's not the sum of 325 and 145. Instead, it's just the characters that form 325 and 145 smashed together. And so the, um, the plus sign actually performs a different operation if I use it on strings than if I use it on numbers. So again, this is why it matters uh, to keep track of what type of object we're working with here. So in, with strings, we say that the plus operator does concatenation. And concatenation means basically taking the two strings and putting them together end to end. 